I've got some impatient dickheads behind me. They keep getting right up my ass and then backing off. I'm in a tractor for God's sake. Just go past. No, don't ram me up the ass. Just go past. I don't know. The NPCs in farming sim are a little bit derpy. Hey, hello everybody, and welcome back to the Moldy Worm Gaming Channel. My name is Moldy Worm 41975, and today we are back playing some Farming Simulator 19. Now, I've not played this game for a very, very long time, and it's a game that I actually play quite a bit off camera. Um, I just never really have the effort to pick up the camera and record it, so um, I thought it would be fun this month to go back to Farming Sim 19 and do something kind of a little bit different because this game has been out for a while now we have a lot of mods that you can get in farming sim and i want to do this as kind of like an old-fashioned farming sim let's play so we're only going to be using old machinery i've downloaded a ton of old machinery mods i've bought a few of them in the game here and brought them over here to the farm so you can see that all the tractors are fairly old looking we've got some like old trailers um, you know like this international we got a John Deere we've actually got an MF 20 which um, for those of you who don't know I actually have one of these in real life um, so I'll probably have a picture up on screen now so you can see me with it but yeah I actually have um, an MF 20 and then we've got like an old combine up here we've got some old mowers and like an old um, loader over here there's a bunch of other stuff we can go and purchase on the store and we're going to slowly build up the farm like we would in a normal let's play but i've just gone ahead and purchased sort of the main stuff and we are also on a modded map here so this is marwell manor farm and it's created by a very talented user in the farming sim community called oxygen david so um i'm sure he's not watching but if he is thank you so much for making this map it's absolutely fabulous it has been in farming sim 19 for a few years now and i've played on this map extensively in the past but i've never had a chance to record it so i thought it'd be kind of fun to record on marwell manor it's an awesome looking farm you can see we've got some cattle over here that i've already gone and purchased and over here we have some sheep so I've kind of already gone in and set up the farm a little bit and sort of bought the equipment that we'll need so today's just going to be sort of starting off the let's play we're going to harvest the field we're going to have a little look around the farm the map is not actually massive I'll go ahead and open it up you can see the map is all what's inside this red line here so everything outside of the red line is not accessible but everything inside this red line here you can buy um, the farm is right here sort of slap bang in the middle um, the shop is just here so it's not that far away we've got the um, egg cell point over here we've also got another little farm which is just over here and this is where our chickens and pigs are you can see that and also where the lime station is the sawmill is just up here and there is a forest right next to it and then we've got a couple of stores on that side and over here to the left and we've also got some horses right here and then there's a bunch of farms so a bunch of fields sorry as well so we own these couple already right by the farm which is really nice um i believe i think it's might be field 19 or field 18 one of these is ready to harvest um so we're going to do that first once I've, i'll do a few strips so you can see but then we'll set off a worker to do the rest but you can see this field over here is ready to harvest now i don't know how well he's going to stick to the sides of the field so i might just do a couple of strips up and down and we'll just see how it goes but here we go we fire it up and then it will automatically set the work speed which is really really cool um, 
yeah, we'll leave the, the swath coming out the back there because we can bail that up later. Um, yeah, if you've never seen any gameplay of Farming Sim 19, if this is the first gameplay you've seen, then um, it has been out for a long time, this game. It's been out for about two or three years now. And we were expecting a brand new Farming Sim to be released in 2020, in November. Uh, but sadly, that didn't happen due to Corona and also the release of the new consoles. The developers have pushed it back by a year. So hopefully it will be released at the end of 2021 at some point and I will definitely be covering that on the channel um, but we've still got Farming Sim 19 it's a very good game it looks absolutely fantastic I'm on the PlayStation right now on the PS4 playing this and I have to say it's a pretty nice looking game it's very realistic um, in farming terms and some of the mods for this game are absolutely incredible and we got a bunch of other cool tractors in here i'm actually just going to go ahead and jump in the john deere here um, this is our most powerful tractor currently um, it's got like 175 horsepower or something so not a massive amount but it has quite a lot of torque so that is more than enough for what we're doing and it actually sounds awesome as well. It's a really good looking tractor. And there we go. Oh, it's going into the trailer. And then once this trailer gets full, we'll go ahead and dump this into the silo. And then once the silo is full, we can get the uh, Transstar out and take it to the cell point. Um, this is our silo over here. So we have this little like hopper thing that we park over and then you can see the animation will pop up there to unload the trailer and there we go that is fully empty now so it will just automatically shut the trailer and then what you can go ahead and do once this silo gets a bit more full we'll bring up the truck round here and um, basically you can go start filling in here you can see what stuff we already have in the silo there's already a few bits in here so it's actually barley that we're harvesting currently um, and basically you'll press start and it will load out of this little funnel thing into the trailer or the truck at that point so yeah it's a pretty nice little setup that is the garage just there it's a little bit junky but it looks really cool it's kind of like realistic how a farm would be in real life now I'm sure there will be some of you wondering can you run over cows in this game no you cannot run over cows you simply just go through the cows um, and also the cows don't escape so if I leave these gates open the cows don't go anywhere so I'm sure there will have been a few people wondering that so there you go I've answered your question no you can't run over the cows no cows don't escape right so I've just arrived at the shop now this is actually if you buy new tools and new equipment and stuff this is where it is and then you can drive it back to the farm and I've actually just come to pick up this pallet of seeds um, so we can go and seed up that first field and I need to bring the loader for that and there we go so we've loaded up a load of seed and then we can go ahead and drive back to the farm it's actually quite a nice drive um, I came that way through the fields so you can go like the back route if you want to or you can actually go down the main road so this is the main road here um, you can set the indicator on check if there's no cars I didn't check that way there we go and then I like to just go into first person it's actually not great with them seeds in the way but there we go it's quite a long trek so I'll cut it out but I'll show you the route back to the farm because it is quite nice I've got some impatient dickheads behind me they keep getting right up my ass and then backing off I'm in a tractor for God's sake, just go past. No, don't ram me up the arse. Just go past. I don't know, the NPCs in Farming Sim are a little bit derpy. 
Right, so here is our turn off to the farm. It's like a little kind of track. It weaves its way through the countryside. It's really nice. It's just off the kind of main road. You go past these little houses and stuff. And our farm is like tucked in just over there. Um, there's like some houses and a tennis court for some reason. But it's nice that there's like a little farm track. It's hidden sort of off the main road. It's it's just a beautiful looking map I have to say. And here we are back at the farm. Looks pretty nice. It's quite a long trek in this thing because it only does 12 miles an hour. Um, but if you go in the Jeep or something it's pretty quick if you go in the Land Rover there. And here we are back at the farm and now we can go ahead and load up um, the industrial with some seed and there we go that is the thing fully loaded up and then we can head out to the field now they should just close yep there we go so the animations and stuff in this game are absolutely fantastic it's one of the things i love about farming sim is the physics and the animations in this game are absolutely incredible um, you know, there's no game really like Farming Sim out there. Um, there is other farming games, but they don't really come close to what Farming Sim is. But anyway, here we are at the field. It has already been cultivated for us. So let's go ahead and first select our crop type. We'll just go with wheat. And then we want to lower the sower. And then it should allow us to turn on the sower. If I go now, there we go. You can see it is struggling a little bit, this tractor. It is spinning a little bit. I think maybe we have the wrong tyres on here because we are spinning a little bit. Or possibly this tractor doesn't quite have enough horsepower. I think once we get going, it does seem to be okay now. still spinning a little bit um, but you can see we are slowly now planting up the field which is pretty cool and in the bottom right of the corner just there under the speedo you can see that the crop is slowly going out of the cedar and being planted into the ground so every now and then you have to go and fill the cedar up again but it's a pretty nice looking game um, I think that's all we're gonna do in this game uh, or in this video we've harvested a bit of the field over there I'll go ahead and finish that off camera and we've started seeding up this field I'll go ahead and seed this field up and then maybe in the next episode we'll go and do a bit of hay timing maybe harvest a bit of grass or something um, but yeah I hope you have enjoyed this episode it's been a first look at farming sim 19 we're going to be continuing this sort of old farming sim series for a few weeks and then we'll move on to a new game. My plan is to do a new game every sort of month so there's something different on the channel every sort of month. So if you want to see what we play next month then make sure you subscribe and if you enjoyed this episode I'd appreciate you dropping a like. It really does help out the channel. And that's going to do it for today. Thanks all so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.